Are you ready to have some fun with model magic? We're going to create a sculpture of a fish. A sculpture is art that is three-dimensional. And we're going to make this sculpture using model magic. Notice the fish have big eyes and open mouths. We're going to try that today with our model magic fish. Let's start by mixing up some model magic. In your packet, you should have the primary colors, blue, red, yellow, and I've also included white. You can mix the primary colors to make secondary colors. The first thing I'm doing here is setting aside some white so I'll have it for my eyes. Now I'm gonna tear the blue in half, save some for later, and mix the blue with some white. All this is doing is gonna make light blue and more of it. So we're doubling our blue by adding white to it, but notice you've gotta squish and squeeze and pull and twist until you blend the two colors together. It takes a while and you may decide you wanna stop in the middle when it looks marbleized like this one. Now I'm going to look for an armature. An armature is a structure that I can wrap the model magic around. What would be perfect would be a cylinder like this glue stick or chapstick or a cap to a marker, but you're not going to be able to get it back. So find something that is useless and you're gonna throw it out anyway, like the cap to a dead marker. I found this black one and I'm wrapping the model magic around the marker. This makes it stay open in the middle so I can have an open mouth fish. Now I'm gonna use some red to make the mouth. I roll it between my hands, or maybe you want to roll it on the table to make a skinny cylinder. Take your skinny red cylinder and wrap it around the opening of the fish mouth. Remember, this works best if you have a marker inside the blue model magic. It sort of looks like my fish is biting my finger. Do you see that? That looks like a mouth to me. Okay, now let's mix up some red and yellow. So I'm just tearing off a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red. Usually I find that you need less red than yellow. So take a bigger amount of yellow and stir and mix and twist and pull and squeeze until the two colors start blending together into orange. Orange is the secondary color you get when you mix red and yellow. Now I'm going to use my orange model magic to create a dorsal fin. That's the fin on the back of the fish. It sticks very easily. You don't need any glue. Just press it together and it will stay. And then shape the dorsal fin any way that you like. You can even tear off some if you have too much model magic. I like this one. I'm gonna use some of this orange for my side fins, but you could use any color that you like. Even create a new color by mixing. I just tore it in half so they're equal in size, pressed them onto the side, and then pinched them into the shape that I want for the side fins. Now I want to make some green. Yellow and blue make green, but you need more yellow than blue. This takes a while. Pinch and squeeze and pull and twist. It's easier when you can speed it up in your video, but now you're seeing what color it makes. There's green. Sometimes I like to see the swirls of yellow and blue, so I like to stop before it's completely mixed, but you can do it any way you like. I'm pressing my tail onto the fish and seeing how this looks. Mine doesn't wanna stay up in the air, it wants to fall down, so I think I'll just let it fall down and press it in sideways, like a mermaid tail. Now I'm gonna take those white eyes that I saved from earlier and make them a little bit smaller so they fit on my fish. They still look pretty huge, don't they? But that might look funny. I kinda of like to have a little funny humor in my three-dimensional sculptures. A black marker will color over the model magic, so you can make the pupils of your eyes with a marker. Look how nice that looks. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's time to add some creative details. You can add stripes or polka dots or scales or eyelashes or teeth to your fish. Twist up whatever model magic you have left over and let's make some patterns and stripes on the tail or the fins. Here's some polka dots. There's an idea. You can even make some little white teeth or maybe a big tongue hanging out of the fish mouth would be funny. You can use a marker to draw on your model magic. So maybe you'd like some stripes with a dark colored marker. I'll use this black one and make some stripes on my dorsal fin. See how easy that is? Let's do the other side too. Feel free to stop after one fish and take a nice photo to send to me, or you might have more model magic and you want to make another fish to go with it. I notice I have not yet made any purple, so let's mix some red and blue together and make a purple fish. I'll start squeezing and pressing, although I usually need to add a little bit more red than blue, because blue is such a dark color, you don't need much of it. It's hard to make a beautiful purple, so I think once I'm done mixing these two together, I'm gonna to try adding a little bit of white to it to lighten it up just a bit so it's not so dark. This time, I'm not going to use an armature. I'm not going to wrap the purple dough around anything hard like I did the first time. I can still make the mouth just like this without having a marker cap in the center. It's just going to be smaller. There's my mouth and now I'm going to work on a tail. Shape it any way that you want and use whatever color model magic you like. You can try mixing all the colors together and you'll probably get a brown. Anytime you don't like what you've done, you can always tear it off and start again. Here I'm having a dorsal fin that's partially red and partially orange. Some white googly eyes. And I think I'll use that black marker again to make my pupils. That is adorable. Just like you did with the big fish, add some details like stripes or polka dots or scales or eyebrows or tongue or teeth and send me a picture of both of your fish. Make as many as you have time for and I'd love to see your creations, your three-dimensional sculptures made of model magic. I'm very excited to see them. 